super turbo marine engine last year uh, and tested it with the Navy. And it worked beautifully. What we were looking for was more low end power, low engine speed power to push the boat up on top and really take off. Tested with the Navy down at Coronado. They love it. So I met Mike up here last year. Mike and I have known each other for a number of years, Mike Ryan. And I kind of looked at what he was running and he had a compound turbo set up, a lot of diesel smoke in the air. And I, I just kind of looked at them and went, that's horsepower. That smoke is power that you didn't realize. So what, why is there smoke? It's not enough air going into the engine. Once you got it up to speed, the smoke would disappear because the turbos would come up to speed. But it was kind of a tractor pull turbo setup on a Pikes Peak truck. Not a good match because tractor pull setups don't respond. The engines have to get wound up. Well, we have 156 turns. You don't have time to wind up off of every turn. So I suggested to Mike, why don't we do a super turbo on your Detroit diesel? So that's what we've done. Uh, it ran for the first time last Thursday. And uh, we've got a number of other systems because we're also injecting a methanol water mix to help cool the air and give a little more top end power, about 400 horsepower more. So that's quite a kick when it comes on. Uh, you, it's working for us. The thing is coming off the turns, we're increasing the overdrive on the blower every day. We're sneaking, sneaking up on our combination. So what we did was we created a device to control this methanol water uh, injection, which we call straight shot. And the straight shot setup takes that whole idea of methanol water injection that's 80 years old. It's not a new idea to do it. What's new for us is how it's controlled and uh, putting the right amount at the right time. It takes a controller kind of like a fuel injection controller. So that's what we built. So it's a methanol injection over here. The same system, there's actually two of those systems injecting, we inject before the supercharger to cool the air while it's being compressed, after the supercharger to cool the air some more before it goes into turbocharger compressor. When it comes out of that, goes to the intercooler. We have five nozzles that fog and chill the intercooler. So we bring down the air temperature going into the engine. Is that water based? It's, that's water only okay. there. Uh, and then in the engine we have six nozzles, one for each cylinder, with methanol water. Uh, additionally, we have one more system, and we're spraying into the hat of the disc brake rotor. And the rotors have air channels inside of them. What happens is we mist into there, and it's like a fan. It's pumping air through. So we just moisten the air a little, and it brings down the brake temperature. He's already noticed a better brake. So it allows him to get into the turns deeper before he slows down. It brings up your average speed for 12.4 miles. So, you know, we're, it's so new, but we're gaining every day. And uh, tomorrow we'll be we're running the middle section tomorrow. Uh, I think we'll know quite a bit. So what, what's the total horse, horsepower we're talking here? Uh, when or water methanol is on, 2800, 2400 without. And torque about, what's the oh, torque? Oh, the torque, it's making, it's power peak at 2700 RPM. So the torque is nominally 5,000 foot per thousand. It's torquey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so torquey yeah. that any limited slip uh, differential has been tried on the truck has been killed. Yeah. So we've had to do a spool. You told me you're, you like yeah. to kill transmissions. I don't like time. to kill transmissions. No, that's what happens. It's, it's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Also the, the, the differential in the, in the right. rear axle. So he's got a, he's running a spool. It makes it a little tougher to turn. But uh, all those systems are brand new for us. And uh, 
So this is a test. Yeah. This is a test, and, 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 and then we'll, we've already done a, a BMW, just a stock twin turbo BMW, where we upped the rear wheel horsepower 44%. What kind of BMW? Like a five, SUV? Yeah, like a five series. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a sedan. With a three liter twin turbo okay. gasoline engine. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do a number of different gasoline turbo programs. We're not, you know, we're turbo guys from the beginning. Right. We're diesel guys since the early 80s. Right. Yeah. Turbos first. Turbos always. <laughs>